Right, today uh, we're going to make some naan bread. Uh, everyone asks me for the recipe for naan bread. And uh, they always ask me, how can we make naan bread without a tandoori oven? Well, it's very simple and I'm going to show you how. But one thing you must remember that you have to make the mixture one day before. So I've got one egg, I've got three cups of self-raising flour and in the egg I'm going to put one teaspoon of onion seed, in Indian they call it kaninji, and half a cup of milk and one heat teaspoon of salt also half teaspoon of baking powder one dessert spoon of sugar and one large dessert spoon of oil probably two dessert spoon of oil First we give this a good mix. And put that with our mixture of flour. Right, with the spoon, mix that well. Let's put half a cup of water as well. We don't want too wet and we don't want too dry. That's fine. Give that a good mix. That's done. Now we cover that, leave that in the fridge until tomorrow. As you can see, it's a soft dough. Cover that with cling film. We don't want any air to get to that. But before we put cling film on it, you want to put a little bit of oil on the top. Now we've taken out the nun mixture we made yesterday from the fridge. As you can see, it's a little bit risen. Now we have to make these into balls. So if we uh, divide that into uh, three balls, that would be the correct size. Right. So, get a little bit of flour, put it on a plate, as you see, so it doesn't stick to the plate. Then, cut, tight as you can, if it's a little bit sticking, a little bit of flour. Just gently, as you can see, gently, we're going to make a firm ball, like so. Then put it in the flour, and again, 
to the next one. Keep it as tight as you can. It's very important that you make this dough ball correctly. That's fine. Put them apart so when they spread, because we're going to leave them out now. What you want to do is make these at least three or four hours before you're going to make your naans because they have to become room temperatures, very important. Then what we do is cover the balls with clear film, like so, because we're going to keep them out. Then get yourself a tea cloth, wet it, because we don't want the dough balls drying out. Give it a good ring. So there's no water, just it's a damp cloth and put it over the dough balls and leave aside. Now we're making our naan bread uh, which has been uh, sitting in room temperature for about six hours covered. We've put on the oven which is the highest it can be. Uh, we're going to cook these naans under the grill. You can use a saucepan or you can use a tower, what we use using. Uh, you have to make sure the tower is very hot because everything's going to happen very quickly. Right, I'm going to start making the naan bread now. Stuff this with a little bit of flour, lift up your dough ball, a little bit of oil on top. So we're going to just make it as big as we can. This is, you don't want to take the air out too much. Then just spread it with your hand, bring it over, and let, let that. As soon as you see it bubbling, then we're going to put it in the oven. So you can see the bubbles forming. Okay. Then lift it over and under the grill. Yep. After two, three minutes with a spatula. Take it off, put it down, a little bit of butter, voila, your naan bread, and carry on making other naans.